Meet the all new Xiaomi Mode from Seat Studio powered by the new ESP32 C5 chipset. The first chip in the entire ESP32 lineup to support dual band Wi-Fi. Yes, this finally means we have a ESP32 Mode with fast and reliable 5 GHz Wi-Fi support. And in this video, we'll be covering everything about this board starting with the specifications and we'll be comparing its specs with the Xiaomi C6 and the Xiaomi C3 board to see where the C5 board fits perfectly. And after that, we'll learn how to use this board with the help of Arduino IDE. And in the end, I'll show you how you can make your own matter-based projects on the C5 board over Thread protocol. So this is the getting started video, all new Shao C5 board. And now, let's first discuss the specifications of this board. So here I'm comparing the Shao ESP32 C5 board with the Shao ESP32 C3 and Shao ESP32 C6 board. And talking about the chipset, then the new Shao board is powered by the ESP32 C5 chipset in it, which is a single core 32-bit RISC-V processor clocked at 240 megahertz, which is 1.5 times faster than the other two boards. Now, as discussed before, it supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band, which is missing in the other two boards as they support support only 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi talking about the bluetooth then all the three boards are capable of bluetooth 5 support in it now talking about the storage then the c5 got on board 8 mb flash memory which is double the size as compared to the other two modules and talking about the ram then the c5 got 8 mb of ps ram in it which is way more than c6 and c3 combined Talking about the battery charger, then all three boards got built-in battery charging capability in it, and the C5 board got the same battery charging chipset as the one in the C6. Now all three boards got the same type of interfaces, and it still comes in the same size as all the other Shao boards. So now here, if we conclude on the specifications, then C5 is definitely better in all the perspective. Maybe it's faster processing speed. dual band wifi or more flash memory so now there are a lot of chances that the new shao board becomes the go to microcontroller board for all the makers and engineers for their future iot project so now after discussing about the specifications let's move on to the computer and see how we can program it with the help of arduino ide So this video is sponsored by LTM and you must have already heard about LTM software a lot from my videos but you may ask that hey Sachin I am a student I can't afford LTM license or else I don't know how to use it well I got a special news for you all people so LTM came up with something really exciting for all the students in India called as LTM student lab in which you can enroll for free with your university email id and later you'll get free access to LTM license PCB design courses and certification as well from LTM upon completion of the courses which will truly highlight your resume and the most amazing thing about using and learning LTM software is that this software is accepted globally by a lot of well known tech companies so if you are a student from India well you should not miss out this opportunity just click the link mentioned in the description right now and enroll for free for LTM student lab Okay so in your Arduino IDE you first need to add the support for the ESP32 boards packages for that you can go to Arduino settings or you can say Arduino preferences as well in some cases and here you just need to paste out this particular line uh, or link you can say which I'll be attaching in the description of this video just paste that here in case if you already have it you can just go back to the uh, Arduino into boards manager type out ESP32 and here you need to make sure the latest version of ESP32 boards package is already installed in my case i already installed the latest one 3.3.5 as of now because the latest version like above 3.3.4 uh, we get the support for the Xiao C5 board okay so after uh, you update to the latest one if you go to the board section you should see the new option uh ESP32 C5 okay so i'll select this and uh, the com board is this one which is already connected with this particular board okay so once you are uh, done with this step you can now successfully upload the code into this board let's try to check it out if everything is working fine or not for that we'll upload the most basic example code which is the LED blink and uh, let's see so here's the one i'll straight away uh, hit the upload button and let's wait for the code to get uploaded 
Okay, the code is successfully uploaded and on the board, we get to see the tiny orange LED blinking at the interval of one second, which means we have done all these steps successfully fine. And now we are good to go to you know, upload some example codes and build projects are using the C5 board. But before moving on to any project side, uh, let's first check out the Wi-Fi scan example code because hey, come on, this uh, now supports the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi as well. So let's see if it is able to scan the nearby 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi routers or not. So I can, I'll go to the examples and here I'll quickly open up the basic Wi-Fi scan example code which is under Wi-Fi and uh, yeah here it is Wi-Fi scan so here is the Wi-Fi scan.ino file and if you have used the Wi-Fi scan example codes previously well you'll find this one a little different because earlier we used to get this particular thing only which is just cache the nearby Wi-Fi network and print it up onto the serial monitor but this time for this particular board they have you know made the void look a little longer in which they are printing a 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks specifically later on they're also printing 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network uh, in the serial monitor. So one is the mixture one, other will be 2.4 and other will be 5 gigahertz. So with that we can you know come to know that uh, how many routers of which band are available nearby. So let us uh, simply hit the upload button and let's see uh, what we are getting in the serial monitor response. Here. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded and I'll open the serial monitor and uh, let me just uh, maximize this and I'll press the reset button on board and let's wait for the response and just clear out the response here. Okay, so first it will scan all the Wi-Fi networks, I guess. Okay, so it scanned all the Wi-Fi networks. There are 35 Wi-Fi uh, networks nearby the range of the shower board. Later, I'll just uh, stop the auto scroll after the 5 gigahertz. Okay, I'll stop the auto scroll. So after scanning all the 35 routers, it scanned 2.4 gigahertz network or Wi-Fi routers. Specifically, it found uh, that there are 24 Wi-Fi routers that are working on 2.4 gigahertz band. And later, there are 12 Wi-Fi routers nearby the shower board which are working over 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. And not only the network, but the RSSI value, the signal strength, you can say the channel and the encryption, whether it's open or secure. Everything is scanned and displayed here on the serial monitor. So yeah, this definitely works on 5 gigahertz band. And now uh, it's time to move ahead and check out the example code and see if we can make some interesting project or not. So if we go into the examples, uh, here, as you can see, uh, there are spe examples specifically for Shao es 2 c 5 and as you can see, there are a lot of example codes, but uh, the one code or the series of code which got my attention was the matter okay so here as you can see we got bunch of codes for just matter protocol previously it was not available we need to use the esp0 code to try out the matter based project but now it has support here in arduino ia itself so let's try out one simple or basic matter based uh code and let's see how it works on the c5 board so i'll open up the basic on off light matter based on off light i'll open it up so here is the code and i don't know from which particular series uh they started this particular thing but now we do have the readme file here inside the arduino sketch itself and this readme file is so detailed and it's for all the boards which the code is supported for uh, for example the matter on off uh, example code is supported in these all esp32 based chipset and here they're specifically mentioned as well if the matter is over y or thread. So here for example for this ESP32 C5 chipset the matter will be over the thread protocol and not the Wi-Fi protocol and they have explained the features, how to use it, how to upload the code, everything in so detailed manner. I really like this particular readme file. It, it got everything that you need to know uh, even if you're opening the code for the very first time. If you read this you'll understand each and everything and uh, they also uh, know given the steps to use this particular matter-based uh, hardware with different ecosystem. For example, if you're using the Apple ecosystem, what are the steps? If you're using with the Alexa or Amazon's ecosystem, what are the steps? If you're using the Google's ecosystem, what are the steps, okay? So, uh, really good job for this readme file. Uh, I think it is right the Espressive team itself. So, anyways, uh, we don't need to do any changes at all uh, just because this is not working over Wi-Fi. In case it was working over Wi-Fi, we need to provide the assigned name and password as well. 
uh, but here as you can see c5 is not over wi-fi it's over thread so we are good to go so i'll just uh, select the right board and com port and the thing which we need to change here is inside the tools we need to make the psrm enabled and the partition scheme should be huge app uh, with 3 mb no ota slash 1 mb spiffs okay you need to select this and now you're good to go to upload this code and once this code uh, get uploaded i'll show you how uh, I will be pairing this C5 board over thread protocol for matter connectivity and I'll be going with the Apple ecosystem. I'll show you just in a while. Okay, so here as you can see the code is successfully uploaded and if I open the serial monitor and click the reset button on board, let's see what we're getting response on the serial monitor. So it says the QR code URL is here. So yes, we need to have a QR code. Let me just stop the auto scroll. I have, you need to have the QR code for scanning it via mobile app so i'll copy the url and i'll paste that url here and press enter and it will give us the qr code which we need to scan it through our smartphone okay so here i'm using my iphone 16 pro so now if you have an iphone 15 pro or higher model where your iphone do contain the thread connectivity support in it for android you can check on internet if your phone supports the thread connectivity or not so now here i'll directly open up the apple home mobile application and here i'll click on add accessories now I'll click on more option and here as you can see it already found a nearby metal accessory so I'll click on it now it is asking for the setup code or else I can use the camera and here I need to scan the QR code which is displayed onto the serial monitor I'll scan it quickly so after scanning here it is asking for uncertified accessory I'll click on add anyway and uh, on the serial monitor you can see all the logs running and yes it's successfully added I'll add it to my garage click on continue and done now i can control the onboard orange led with the help of my iphone and this is running uh, over matter protocol via thread connectivity and i can see the serial monitor response as well and not only this i can also control with the onboard button as you can see the led i can control with the onboard button and its status is reflected in real time into the mobile application as well so yeah, that's how you can run the matter protocol in the c5 board and make it work with the apple ecosystem and if not apple maybe on google ecosystem System or maybe Amazon's ecosystem. So that's the beauty of this matter protocol. Like it supports all the ecosystem and it is not brand specific. So that's how you can make metal based projects quite easily with this new board. And they got a lot of other example codes to try out and build something truly amazing. So with this, we successfully learned how to use this board, but what about the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band and what difference will it make? Well, there are a lot of benefits of 5 GHz Wi-Fi band. The first benefit being you'll get the faster data transfer rate. That means you get very low latency for your IoT projects. So this will be definitely suited for all the vision and voice based IoT projects where you need to stream the voice or your uh, video data over internet. You'll see noticeable difference here. Now to make you visualize the difference, here is the benchmark result of available bandwidth in the Shop C3 board, C5 board and C6 board tested with both TCP and UDP protocol and the difference is clearly visible. The 5 GHz band is almost 2.4 times faster in TCP protocol and 1.6 times faster in UDP protocol. So that's one of the advantage. Second benefit is 2.4 GHz band is too congested as it is used by a lot of wireless devices in, in our daily lives like the wireless keyboard, mouse, all the Bluetooth based devices, microwave oven, etc. So switching over to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band is definitely a reliable solution for your IoT product. Now here the only downside of the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band is the range so here in 5 gigahertz the range is very less as compared to the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi so long story short if you want to build an iot product which is future proof reliable and has low latency well c5 board is for you i'll be linking away the purchase link of this product down in the description so you can buy it and try all the 5 gigahertz based projects by yourself now for all of you people who made it till the end well let me give you a little reward here so we are running a giveaway content where one of the lucky viewers will be getting this brand new Xiaomi ESP32 C5 board for absolutely free of cost and the participation steps are really very simple. First thing you need to comment below a project idea which you would be making in case if you win this C5 board 
a letter you need to be subscriber of this channel and obviously you need to like this video because hey come on this is a really amazing video right so by following these three steps you are eligible for the giveaway contest and after 10 days we'll be selecting one lucky a uh, winner from the comment section who'll be getting this board for absolutely free of course from decky sms so yeah that was all about this video where we discussed uh, the specification of this board how to use it and how to build projects with it i hope you find this video interesting and useful and if you want to see more such interesting videos about the new and latest innovative products coming up in the electronics and iot field well you should definitely subscribe our channel and yeah with that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me techie sms